Uh, yeah, the last couple months have been great. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying myself, you know, trying to have fun with everything, um, you know, focusing on stuff that I have to get better with, um, you know, focusing on th things that are going to make this team better and, um, you know, try to get this program moving in the right direction. Uh, yeah, I got a chance to go home. Um, you know, it's always good to, you know, kind of get away from football for a little bit and just, you know, sit back and relax and, and you know, enjoy other things in life. Um, you know, but, you know, I also have been, you know, trying to work extremely hard just to better myself and, and like I said, again, just better this team and, and get us going in the right direction. Uh, I feel really good. I mean, I'm actually excited that we have, you know, this this much depth at the position. I mean, I think it's only going to make me better and, and the other guys in the position even better. Um, you know, it kind of just kind of goes right over my head. Um, you know, that's nothing that I can control. Um, you know, I'm I'm here to, you know, once again make myself better and, and do anything I can to make this team better. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I haven't really talked to him about that. Once again, you know, I'm just kind of focused on making myself better and, and trying to get this team going, moving in the right direction. Uh, yeah, I've been very impressed with him. Um, you know, the way he's picking up the offense and, you know, just the way he's been moving in, in practice and even in the summer. I um, mean, you know, I think he, he'll be a good good fit for us, and uh, I'm excited to get to continue to work with him. How different can it be for you guys when you don't have necessarily one the one that you have I think it's great. You know, I think we have, you know, like you said, so many guys that can step up at, at any time. Um, you know, I think the guys that we do have are, are pretty special at the position, and um, you know, I'm excited to continue to work with them and just grow every day. Uh, yeah, you know, I think he's he's pretty fast. You know, I'm always you know trying to compete with his times and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I think it's it's. Fun competition when you're working against the other guys on the other side of the ball too, in, in uh, certain aspects. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you know just seeing how big he is, first of all, um, you know, and then him being able to move at that size, um, you know, it's, it's pretty special. And um, you know, I'm excited for him to be able to, you know, be on our side um, this year and, and and be able to watch him play. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think just giving them the experience that I've had, um, you know, coming in, I've been here a year now, um, you know, I've been through the, the things, you know, I know how this place works now, um, you know, just whenever they have questions, you know, trying to give them my best input and, you know, letting those guys know that I'm here for them. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I consider Jalen one of my closest friends on this team. Um, you know, I think whoever, you know, gets the gets the start the spot, um, you know, I'm I'm here for whatever. Um, you know, I'm here to help him in any way he needs. Um, you know, like I said, you know, we're really close, so you know, I think there's no animosity between either of us. And um, you know, once again I just want this team to be moving in the right direction. Um, you know, I think it was just kind of free flowing. You know, last year being here, was, I was kind of a new new guy, and he just came in. and He was uh, with open arms, you know, willing to to help me and and let, allow me to help him. Um, you know, I think you know over the year we just gotten closer and closer every day. Uh, Ethan's good. Um, you know, I've, he he still has a long way to go. Obviously, this is his, you know first couple months here, but you know I think he has potential to be really good. And um, you know, once again, I'm always here for him to you know help him and grow. Mm-hmm. Is there a level of that with time could be pretty dangerous? 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I think, you know, Ethan, he has a lot of potential. Um, you know, I think especially working with, you know, Coach Z and Coach K and, um, you know, Coach Lightpole, you know, I think over the next couple of years, he'll really develop and be a really good ball player. Coach K talked about, you know, all the coaches really are having to yell as much, shout as much, because you guys all know what's expected, how to do it, where to go, things like that. Do you, do you guys pick that up? I mean, do they seem like maybe they're on a different level in terms of comfort and things like that for mm -hmm. you guys out there? Uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, after, you know, most of us being in this program for a year now, um, we kind of know what the coaches expect from us. And, you know, I think it's more of, you know, the players getting on to other players instead of coaches getting on to players. And, um, you know, I think that's that's one thing that, you know, the players have, you know, really stepped up in, in, in leadership roles and not even just the, the older guys. You know, some of the younger guys are stepping up too, so. Was that just natural? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think, you know, it was, it was just only a matter of time for that started to happen. Um, you know, the coaches, they were kind of really pushing that on us, you know, over the past year. And, uh, you know, I think it's just starting to, you know, really, you know, blossom for us. Jason, who's the fastest player on the team? Me, without a doubt. Who else is in the top three? Uh, I say me, Trevor. And that third spot is kind of tough. You know, I got Craig Young there and probably Quentin Skinner. I mean, there's a couple other guys too, though. Me at top, always, though.